this is App the World, taking a look at story maps in the Using Interactive Maps in the Classroom to Promote Student Inquiry video series. And we're going to move on from the Expand Your World to look at story maps. Now there's one I want to have you look at first that is already saved, and I gave it a shortcut. So navigate to in the address bar to goo.gl forward slash lowercase m2 lowercase k2 uppercase l lowercase q and it should be the Battle of Gettysburg. When it brings you here the story maps are a combination of maps that have been in um, stored in the system and people have been allowed to add things to them and in this case add um, a timeline and add details and further pictures and I'm just going to show you a little bit like right here the armies encounter each other at Gettysburg and I'm on the first day and I'm going to navigate this down maybe a step and find out oh the Confederate forces began to mass on the battlefield and I get a sense okay they're kind of um, you know right here congregating I can even scroll out if I want to get a bigger layout of it, um, but I will stay where they were. And basically I could go through, like if I want to know what was happening on the third um, point right here, it gives me a date, gives me a little picture of the panorama. There's a few more details down here. Um, again, this tells me more of a story and I can kind of start to feel like what it was like and where people were positioned. So I just think the story maps are a great way to go. Um, let's take a look at a few more story maps. So in the address bar, if you go back to artdisc.com, the main screen, and you go to um, the gallery, upper left, and you'll notice one of the categories is story maps. These are maps that could be created really by anybody, um, not just Esri, um, just like all the other maps people can modify and edit. And you can start to look for, you know, I mean, somebody, the effects of El Nino. Um, and what do we have? Mapping at Washington, D.C. Great Places in America. This looks really interesting. So this might be something neat. And, oh, they go through, like, the first one, Highland Park, Birmingham, Alabama. Um, tells me a little bit about that place. Okay. And, again, I could zoom in on the map. Um, I can go to the next place. Um, I do see one right here, here to Chill Grand Rapids, Michigan, from where I'm at. So... Interesting, somebody put this together. So again, it's telling me a story. There's a lot of different story maps. Um, I think it would be great for students to be able to access some of these. And the biggest thing to use their higher order thinking skills is I'd love for students to start to create these story maps. And that's where I think true learning can happen.